You guys will be able to hear from that little speaker anyway. If you guys want to, everyone kind of be real quiet. Attention on a set. Attention on Derek. We're getting ready to, t this is the clip. See these two fingers? It's like the real studio, okay? That's like movies, you know? Okay, when you see this, we're live, okay? All right, brother? Yes, sir. All right, you guys ready? I'm ready. Take one? Okay, we don't do takes. We don't do takes here. We do the real deal, okay? All right, you ready, Eli? Record and stream, both, okay? Hey, welcome to the pause. We're at the finish here, and we got two amigos here, one on each side, and uh, these guys are gonna tell a story that you've never heard in Baja. It's an incredible story about what it takes to finish Baja. Never give up. And these guys will end up telling you that they are the champions for 2014 in Trophy Truck Spec, also with a Milestone Award right here for Taylor Mills. Yes, sir. Let's give it up for Taylor Mills. Yeah. Taylor, uh, you started out up, you know, the other side up there, I know Darren Skelton, guys that ra raced with you, uh, a, a terrible wreck. Yes, but uh, let's talk about it. Yeah, Darren, uh, we got a good uh, buddy that races in spec trophy truck named Billy Wilson, and he's also from Texas. We've been friends since we were kids. And um, uh, he, he checked up on a little G out, and uh, Darren ended up hitting him from behind him, uh, accidentally, of course, um, at a high rate of speed. The truck got tangled up. There was considerable damage to both. So uh, we started working on ours. It took probably 10 hours to get it fixed. We didn't think it was, you know, repairable, but our slogan, whatever it uh, takes, is what the guys did. So they worked on it until the, there wasn't going to be any time left. So they got the truck back running. Billy Wilson got his back running, and uh, Billy ended up finishing second at the race. Wow, incredible. Um, you know, and you were going for the championship, so this means a lot for this race. If you didn't finish, you would not win this championship. If I didn't finish, I wouldn't win the championship. Um, luckily for me, uh, we had three seconds in our first this year. So we were far enough in, ahead in points that all we had to do is finish. So when I came out on, off the course a few minutes ago, Jonathan Brinsel was standing there, and all he could do is shake his head. Because even though he uh, finished well uh, today, he... Uh, we didn't have enough points to get the championship, unfortunately. You know, and he didn't finish too far ago, you know what I'm saying, earlier. Sure. And uh, so I guess they left here and went back up on the highway to see where you guys were coming. So. But I think we were leading the championship by 58 points. So all we had to do was finish, and that's what our goal was. Wow, that's an incredible story. And uh, in finishing, we also uh, were going to be able to steal the, the Milestone Award, which is our, our goal for the year. And a great award, and uh, you know, bringing all the trucks down here, other classes, Class Eight. Mike Meeks last night coming in here. Yes, sir. Uh, Mike Meeks was racing Kent Croker's eight truck. He's been uh, racing vehicles a long time, and uh, with Kent's truck and my dad's help with the race team, uh, everyone got together, and uh, there was there was a optimistic side that if Mike Meeks got first, he'd get the championship. So we went ahead and rolled the dice and and uh, put the effort in to race both trucks. All right, well, we're going to move over here with the world's smallest microphone and uh, talk to uh, Ken Croker. Ken Croker, uh, this is the littlest one you've ever seen, right? It's the smallest mic I've ever seen. So uh, we're going to talk to you about uh, what you and Roger were talking about, allowing you guys to uh, finish this race. Let's talk about that. It was an incredible deal they've done. Yeah, it was amazing. The, um, the reports that I got from where I was said that the, it, the truck was irreparable. There was no way to fix this truck. And so I was talking on a sat phone to my guys that, that, that run mission control stateside. They said, there's no way. Everything that, that, that um, <clears throat> the damage on the truck points to says it's impossible to finish this race and, to, and fix the truck. And so my guys, the, our guys, worked all night on that 